Hey, what's going on YouTube? And today we're gonna learn how to easily cut out hair with Photoshop in less than five minutes. Let's get started. Sometimes it can be pretty hard to etch out or to cut out a person from the backgrounds when they have a very fine detail on their hair. As an example, I have imported one image in my Photoshop and as you can see that the person has a lot of detail on her hair. So to get it started, the first thing that you want to do is you want to copy the first layers and make a rough selection for the whole picture. So what you can do is you can go to select and choose subject and the photoshop will automatically make a selection of the pictures and as you can see on my screen that we need to do a lot more for the hair but i find that the photoshop did quite a decent job on the body part except of this part i think we can easily fix this with lasso tools you can choose lasso from the left bar and press shift to add a little bit more selection on the edge of the shirt if it's too much you can all use alt to remove it press shift again so you can add a little bit more of selection and we are done so you can create a masking with this selection by pressing this button in here and we are done separating the background with the persons and the second part that we need to do is you want to refine the hair edges what you can do is select the layers in here go to select and choose select and max there's a lot of few modes that you can choose but I find that overlay is the best so just choose overlay and go to the toolbars on the left and choose refine edge brush and you can start brushing the edge of the hair You can use spacebar to move around the pictures. That's the shortcut. Okay, I think we are done. As you can see now on my screen that the hair looks a lot better than before, but I find that there's some part that you need to retrieve back for the details. So what you can do is you can always fix it with brush on the layer max. So what you can do is press Alt and click the layer max and if you notice that there's a lot of black colors inside the hairs that you need to remove so what you can do is select brush and change the blend modes to overlay make the opacity about 50% and you want to brush white on the hair area Okay, we are done. So you can retrieve back the image by clicking Alt and press the layer marks again. Yeah, I think we did quite a good job. And and let's check when it against white backgrounds. Just add another layers and paint it white. Go to bucket and paint it white. I think there's some portion like this that we can always remove it so you can go back to the layer max again click out and select layer max and you want to remove the hazy part in here and change the foreground colors to black go to brush choose overlay for the blending modes and just start brushing this part I think we can remove all the, the hazy part. 
and we are done and just retrieve back the pictures by clicking out and select the layer marks okay guys as you can see on my screen we are done etching out or cutting out the hair from the background it is really simple i believe you can try this at home with your pictures and if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and i'll see you till the next episode see you guys